in this session on the Amersham Typhoon, we're going to look at placing a membrane with fluorescent molecules into the Amersham Typhoon imager. So we have our blot here. This is a uh, fluorescently tagged with Psi3 and Psi5 conjugated secondary antibodies. So we're going to keep it in the dark as much as possible. So this is why it was in the foil. We're going to take this over to the instrument. We're going to open the door. In this case, as we said, we're going to use a low fluorescent glass stage. Now it's important now that we place this protein side down because the lasers are pointing up from the bottom. Now we find with fluorescent work, such as this with this low fluorescent membrane, we get better signal to noise when we dry the membrane down. The problem is when we dry the membrane down, this could float about a little bit as we close the uh, stage into the machine. Also, it's going to wrinkle up and not have direct contact with the platen. So this is where this membrane weight comes into play. So this is a low fluorescent perspex block. We'll just place this on top of the membrane to keep it flat. Take note of the position. So in this case, we're 2 to 6, A to D. And then we're going to close the stage into the machine, making sure we see the top of the apex of these two triangles. Then we're going to take the lid, we're going to close that, and then we'll go to our control software and set up for imaging, in this case, Psi3 and Psi5 in the fluorescent mode. 